Good morning, Manukau Christian School by remote. For the second time, we made it through one day. What were your first impressions of yesterday? I think the first impressions of our staff after yesterday was probably what a lot of hard work and what a big adjustment to doing things differently. But also, really satisfying to get emails from parents saying, hey, thank you so much for being well organised, for having lots of work. Parents, what were your, what were your first impressions? Perhaps that you got a whole lot of emails, perhaps you had all these instructions for work and you had a few too many kids and a few too many instructions to make head or tail of it for a while. But hey, we're sending a message and the message is basically that we're organised, we've got work for children to do and they're not going to miss out on learning because of this coronavirus. Anyway, a few, a few requests from me, just a few thoughts I'd like you to consider. Today we're starting Zoom. Now we had training yesterday, it usually takes a week or so to set this up, we tried to do it in an hour or so. Anyway, my point is, just don't expect too much today. If Zoom works, great, we'll make contact, we'll have a little bit of interaction from teacher to student, it's going to be a trial and error sort of situation. Now it might work great with some classes, not so well with others. Teachers might prefer to use something else. Some teachers might prefer to upload YouTube videos and rather than using Zoom all the time. We're just going to try things out and see how they work. What you do know is a commitment from us that we will be giving work to you for your children to do one way or the other. And we're going to keep working at this until we find a formula that works well for each class, for each teacher, for each child. So that's what we're doing. Hey, just a comment about emails. It's great that you are responding to the emails that we're sending out, you're coming back with questions and feedback, students are asking questions about what they're doing, they're learning. Just, just, a, just a thought or a, a request would be only email about things that really are significant because if each child emails the teacher 10 times in a day, you can do the maths, the teacher's going to be busy all day responding to emails and won't have any time to actually plan the next lesson, which is not what we want. The other thing is please respect the boundaries around teachers' time because contact them within working hours. Students contact the teachers between uh, 9 and 3, parents perhaps between 8 and 5 would be okay, but outside of those times please just respect the boundaries or at least don't expect a response at, at that. If you, midnight, if you email a teacher at midnight, well, you won't get a response at midnight and neither you should. Another consideration would be just keep an eye on your children. When children have devices, we can, we can monitor the time their messages are sent. And uh, some children are staying up very late, sending messages, being online. We don't think that's great. We think you need to set... Sorry, if it sounds as if I'm giving you too much advice, well, you know, sometimes I think that's my job. Please forgive me. Look, it's a really good idea to set boundaries around sleep, around recreation time, and around school time, work time. So consider doing that. The other thing I would just want to say to you is, now I'd like students to block their ears please, block those ears, maybe look away. Parents, we have set out to show you that we can deliver quality education through this time. What we do not want you to do is panic and think, my child must do everything written on this plan, otherwise the world is going to end. Three years from now, when you're wearing your t-shirt that reads, I survived coronavirus 2020, or I survived remote learning at Manukau Christian School, three years from now, you're not going to remember how much schoolwork your child did. What you are going to remember is the times that as a family, you huddled together, you prayed together, Maybe you asked hard questions, maybe you cried together. You are going to remember the bonding that takes place in your family. You are going to remember those significant interactions. It's important for the children and the students to do their schoolwork. It does matter. It's important, but it's not ultimate. So please, just relax a little bit. If not every piece of work gets done and your child has worked for 10 hours, well, don't keep them up after a decent time to make them finish everything. Help them to work hard, but don't expect too much. In a time of stress like this, none of us are working quite at our best because our brains are dealing with the stress of it all. So, don't feel too pressured. Hey, just a, a quick word about life's essentials. In Ephesians 
chapter 5, verses 15 to 20, it says this. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Please excuse the photocopier in the background. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Life's essentials. I find it very sad, tragic in fact, that there's a debate going on at the moment as to whether um, shops that sell alcohol should be regarded as essential services at this time. And I'd suggest to you that there are some essential services. The essential service would be a church service. Now consider inviting somebody to church this Sunday. Now it'll be online church, but consider inviting somebody. Consider if you don't normally go to church, pressing into God and connecting with Him at this time. Because the closer we get to God, the better this whole time is going to pass us by and we're going to overcome through it, not be overcome by it. Thanks everyone, have a great day.